So this video called Cracking of Long Chain Hydrocarbons follows on from the fractional distillation of crude oil. As we said to the, the various different fractions, the most useful fraction and one of the one in most demand is the petrol one. And also there at present there isn't enough petrol refined to meet the demand. But there are too much of the other fractions. So what we do, we use a process called cracking to increase the amount of petrol available. And in this video, we're going to look at the principles of how we do this. We will then look, look at using the bromine test, and I'll explain at the time what that signifies. Right, this is our apparatus set up. In the boiling tube, we have, first of all, some mineral oil, which is soaked in paraffin. Halfway along the boiling tube, there is some porous pot, which is used as a catalyst. And the gas which is produced will pass out through the delivery tube and will be collected in the uh, test tube. That sample then we use to test with bromine water. The big danger with this apparatus is this, uh, something which is called suck back. If we stop heating, we then form a vacuum inside the boiling tube so water will be drawn back up. So at no stage do we leave the hot test tube, boiling tube, in connected with the delivery tube to the water. So as soon as I've finished heating, I will remove the delivery tube from the water. You will notice that it's bubbling already. In those first few bubbles, I don't collect because those are bubbles of air which have been driven out of the boiling tube. And I'll continually now move from vaporising the paraffin to heating the catalyst. This is a thermal decomposition reaction in which the paraffin is broken down into two products. And we'll look at those products in a moment. I'm just going to collect one boiling tube full, one test tube full of gas. I've collected my full tube of gas. Um, I've turned the, I've removed the delivery tube of the Bunsen from the trough of water so it doesn't suck back. Now I'm going to test this with bromine water. Now, bromine water. Bromine water is this yellowy orange coloured liquid. I'm going to first of all shake it with methane. Now methane is called an alkane in which all the bonds are single. Now if I shake methane with bromine water, as you can see there's no change in the colour because it's said to be a saturated hydrocarbon, i.e. all the bonds in the carbon atoms are single bonds. If I repeat this with a gas I've collected, I shake that, as you can see, the colour disappears. And this gas is an alkene, which means it's an unsaturated hydrocarbon. It contains 
a double bond or multiple bonds between carbon atoms. Bromine water is used as a test for unsaturated hydrocarbons. Now, in the reaction, what has happened? The paraffin, which is a saturated hydrocarbon, when it passes over the catalyst, is broken down into a smaller hydrocarbon, an alkane, and an unsaturated hydrocarbon, an alkene. And when we shake it with the bromine water, we can see that shows the presence of the unsaturated hydrocarbon.